Let's bleed. All right, I'm with you. Uh, bide is very good. Shield wall's fine. Slick strike is great. Pretty good pack, really. Not bad at all. I kind of like all of these cards, honestly. I think I'm just going to keep them. And here, let's take a bleed it out. Slick Strike with Yellowstone. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Or uh, Blue Stone is another favorite of mine in a Slick Strike. Really powerful card. Okay, we got an early shrine this time, but we don't actually need those anymore. What are we looking at? Nick. Sidestep, main gush. Some pretty good stuff here. A lot of other things that are decent here, but I'm just going to see what this looks like first. Hmm. So obviously we're coming from the top here. And we could get both of these, or we could skip the sidestep and the upgrade and the potion to instead get this upgrade and potion and the card pack. I think this is going to end up being more valuable. Unrelenting is pretty good as well, so... Yeah, Nick is a Nick is a great one. Definitely want that main gosh. Blessed recovery or a shrine. I I don't really need the blessed recovery. I guess just getting some cash money might be nice instead. Do it like this. Yeah, we got a couple chances at uh, secret runes here. One here, one here. Okay, uh, let's do some quick deck editing. Slick Strike go in. Good block cards go in. Uh, I guess we'll toss in a plan B. And probably an evaluate too, honestly. Bleed It Out is going to have to wait until it is upgraded. Which we will do quickly. Probably right here, actually. It's a very, very good upgrade. Yeah, because we've got the, uh, the vulnerable on our spell here, and the weak. So that evaluate, I'm thinking, is going to be pretty sweet. Sit on the bide. Sure, how about some combo? Did anyone like way too much bleed? Oh, whoops, I <laughs> misordered that a little bit, but it's fine. Potion is the first potion. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, main gauche. Instead of another evade, we've got a lot of evades. Wound is decent. We might run that. Hmm. I almost want to just use this for combo right now. Almost. You know what? I am going to do it. We're going to put the vulnerable on you. We're going to get quite a bit of lead. Oh, look at that. Calculated. Turn one, and all we have left is this guy. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, and we can even uh, just instant dunk him. Off to a blazing start here. Okay, uh, so there's a card shop coming up. Um, 
and a void stone shop. That's really all we're going to be spending the money on, but... I don't know. I mean, do we really need to heal here? Nah, we're going to be fine, right, guys? We'll take five here. Does the purchase of the soundtrack benefit both Josh and Cody? I would assume so, but I don't actually know for sure, so don't quote me on that. It is outside of my wheelhouse. Hmm. Salt in the Wound is such a fun card. We'll grab it for the future, although it's certainly not going to be used yet. Let's get that Bleed It Out upgrade, hell yeah. Thinking about buying the soundtrack just to send more support their way? Yeah, just uh, just buy extra copies of Vault 2 while you're at it, right? <laughs> go, go give them out. I, I actually did that, I bought a copy and gave it to my friend. <laughs> okay, uh, Bleed It Out for sure wants to go in. I'm thinking instead of a draw blood. And I'm not going to bother with the wound just yet. Sanguine Stopwatch. I like that. That would make the, uh, the salt in the wound pretty good eventually. Card spikes, maybe. I mean, we're getting a nick, right? Which is nice. Yeah, there's a launch sale going on right now. Which is pretty cool. I think I'll just take the stopwatch. I think this is going to be a good stopwatch deck. Uh-oh. I don't have any combo gain. I guess we'll just get 12 on you then. Jeez. This hand sucks. Fine, I'll, I'll purge it all down. Could have been so much better of a turn one. Yeah, and now we have this crap going on. Oh boy. At the very least, we can give him a weaken. I think we're going to hold the main gosh. Because it's actually pretty good in terms of block compared to stuff we have left. Literally just buy it and slick strike. That would be better. And slick strike's only better if we also get combo gain. Doesn't seem that likely. Have I met Joss in person? No. I live in Texas, and he lives in Australia, so... <laughs> I have not had the chance to meet him in person. This actually is a pretty good hand we got here, huh? We can Slick Strike, we can Plan B. So this is going to be five blocks. This will be the rest of the block here, so we don't need this. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm just going to hope we draw the Bide. Yeah, out of the, like, three of us on the team, was Josh is in Australia, the boar's in New York, and I'm in, uh, Texas. So we are all over the dang place. Oh, the stopwatch is ready to go here. Yeah, I'm not, like, full-time, but... Yeah, I am... I, I have been paid for work for the game, so. DeBoer is full time, though. Because he does. I mean, he does so much stuff. Alright, get bleeded. Okay, I got a quickness here, huh? That's interesting. We might actually make pretty good use of this. Um, depending on what happens with the Nick, right? We might end up with a lot of uh, combo spenders, the way things are going here. Um, I said I like a blue stone slick strike. Should we just do that? Hmm. I don't know. This could be a, like, sit-on combo deck, or it could be, like, a spam-out-a-bunch-of-combo deck. Hmm. I mean, we're getting unrelenting, too. Like, we kind of want a spam combo. Uh, thoughts on the Lick upgrade? It's really good. Uh, in the early turns, being able to just play it once and go up to full combo is great, and then... Ideally, you still rebound it, and then you just purge it off. 
And so it's like one mana to gain two combo. That's really, really nice. But we have yet to play Lick the Knife even once this run. So far it just hasn't uh, shown up early enough. And we have the Bide, which does the same thing, two combo. We have the uh, Unrelenting we're going to get, two combo. So I'm a lot less inclined to upgrade a Lick on this particular run right now. Do you still keep both in the deck after upgrading one? Oftentimes, no. Oftentimes I upgrade one and then I cut the other one. But it depends on exactly how many like good combo spenders I have, you know? Uh, in a deck like this, if I wasn't getting so many other combo generators, I might want to upgrade both licks. <sighs> I think I can go ahead and do this. It's a good card. Surely it will stick around. Okay, uh, it's, it's so annoying trying to <laughs> get the bleed in on this guy with these things, because you play them and then they put more cards back in the hand. So I think what we want to do is drop both of these down. And then we'll go like this. Should I just play this? <laughs> Honestly, I kind of want to just play it. I think I will. Missing on the AoE makes it a lot less good, so I'll just cash it in for 16 damage. Uh, shield wall for next turn, probably, yeah. Do we bother with this? I guess not. The bide's coming up. Yeah, okay, we'll just purge that. Ooh, the evaluate too, though, huh? We'd have to take a little... I guess we could play both of these. I was really hoping we would have drawn any one of our three combo gain cards by now. You know, that would have been neat. That would have been cool. But it's fine, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? <laughs> uh, do we weaken him here? I don't think I should need to weaken him. I'm just gonna purge the four of the throat. Sit on the evaluate. We'll use this next turn. Uh, finally, combo gain. So we can do this. Uh, how do we want to do this now? I guess we'll purge this one. Get him with the spell. Get him with the evaluate. Purge this. 40 damage off Hidden Blades, and I think we're good now. Oh, such an awkward draw order, but we made it work. We made it work, it wasn't that bad. Okay, uh, the upgrade now... Could be a lot of things. The Slick Strike upgrade is quite good. Um, the... Uh, Quickness upgrade is good. And even the salt upgrade would be pretty sweet with the stopwatch. Tough choice. I think I'm going to go with the quickness, honestly, for the moment, because I just want better combo gain. I want more combo gain. Cut a draw blood. I did not like what happened that last fight, and I would like to decrease the odds that that continues to happen. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do this. Get our combo all the way up. Let's put the bleed back on you, and... Do we purge? I think we purge. Yeah. I think we purge here. And hopefully we'll just draw either like the plan B or the uh, for the throat. And we can... Yeah, he's attacking this turn, so we can just hit him with the spell. This will be all the block we need. Go ahead and plan B. Throw that out. And... I kind of just want to keep both of these, honestly. I don't know. If we draw the bide, it'll look really dumb. 
But if we don't draw the body, it'll look fine. It's not like we have any energy to be gained anyway. We drew the bide. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll just purge it. Trigger his bleed. And I think we're just going to purge this too. We'll spend all our combo on Fourth of Throat this coming turn. And he's very nearly dead. In fact, I think he's guaranteed dead at this point. Plenty of stuff that just kills him out right now. I guess this works too. Picking up the stopwatch. So long, Welpling. Stealth Pile, that's a nice one. This upgrade point... Um, just the Slick. When are we getting the Nick? Nick is here. Nick is not going to get to be upgraded until next floor. It doesn't necessarily need an upgrade, though. It does still function reasonably well without it. So, I think I can just go for a uh, Slick Striker, Salt in the Wound here. Let's do the Salt. I like Salt. Anything here? Thief's Code is pretty good. <laughs> Another Bleed It Out. Uh, I think this is a save the money kind of scenario. None of these are really calling out to me. We don't have that much cash. Black stone. This is really interesting, man. I already have a black stone. Where would I put the other one? Black stoning on a nick is like actually a thing if I'm gonna have a ton of combo generation. Do I wanna pay for a second one though? A purple stone is pretty good too to throw on the nick. We are about to get one, though. <laughs> Am I just going to keep saving my money forever? I guess I'll keep saving my money. Such a weird start to this run we've had. Okay, uh, we'll cut a draw blood for the salt. And that's all for now. Emilitic Vial seems pretty good. On the other hand, Cutting Fan also seems really good. It works with the stopwatch. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely gonna bide next turn. So let's see, we can... We can lick the knife too, though. What if we do this? We can go... Like that. 15 bleed on him? That seems pretty good. Block with bide next turn. Probably spell. Yeah, so we go bide, hit him with the spell, we get rid of this and this. It's a good chunk of damage. Not bad. really well. Don't need much longer before he's gonna die, and the stopwatch is going to accelerate that. Salt him up. Yeah, I don't need to mess around with this. I'll leave the relics alone. Cool. We're cruising so far. Very nice. Quite different from uh, <laughs> several of the other runs we've had recently. Uh, more money? Maybe? 
Honestly, I guess so, man. We're gonna be rich. If we can find a disheveled salesman next floor, that would be pretty freaking sweet. I don't think there's anything we want to add in for this. No, we said we're saving purple stone for Nick, or maybe the black stone. Otherwise, the black stone is just getting kept until next floor. Sure, we'll bleed you up. Go for one that's buffing himself, and... I don't want to hold the main gash. I think I will. I think it's a little unlikely we get the sink kill. That just never seems to happen against these guys. So we're not going to bother. Just focus down one of them. Okay, that's you taken care of. Is there any real point to holding Evaluate? Sort of. I guess we'll hold it. There is a, an unlikely but potential world in which we just don't draw any other block cards. Okay, um, good time to get our combo up. Purge down those, get the bleed off of you. I guess we'll just slide it on over to your friend here. And hit him with this. We can evaluate him next turn. Get all the block. So, we do need, uh, actually no, we're just going to take two. We can't actually spend combo to get the uh, plan B block here. I guess that's fine. We can get the rest of our combo up off of you. Yeah, I almost always go for single kills this battle. Unless you have really good AoE, uh, it's just, you have to kill all three of them at once. That's pretty tough to do, and if you're like slowly picking them off here or there, they're going to keep gaining the max HP to heal themselves up. And if you reshuffle with all the infections in the deck and you know they're, they're all still hanging around, then that's a lot of damage that'll start coming your way. It tends to get out of hand, so pretty often, yeah, I do just uh, pick them off one by one. Okay, so I guess we don't need you. We're going to get a bunch of hidden blades. Yeah, we'll just go after this one. I guess that works. This way we can at least get two of them at once. Take a little bit of damage. I think that's the first damage we've taken so far. Not too bad. Uh, hmm. It's a little bit awkward. Guess we'll do it this way. I'm not really worried about just one at this point. One enemy. But there is still a chance that we take... Yeah, okay, look. Turns like this. What the hell? Five more damage for no reason, basically. Unfortunate. But at this point, we should finally be done. Cool. Booster pack, uh, I think we're mostly just looking for good block. Uh, hmm. None of these cards say block. Uh, fresh deal is nice, though, because we do want to spam attacks. Gutted, probably not needed. I think we're going to roll this one. Yeah. Seize exertion. Well, it's there for slow. If we decide we really want slow... I 
guess I'll cut a four of the throat for this fresh steel. This is like a a decent target for this redstone we're about to get, for what that's worth. And do we want the unrelenting? Kind of. Sort of. Well, combo gain is definitely nice. Because we just took out one of our combo spenders. Maybe I just cut a lick for the unrelenting, honestly. That seems better. You guys again, huh? No combos with the salt in the wounds. Pretty bad. In fact, everything in this hand is pretty bad. Aha! I still don't think we're using this. We'll just get our combo like that. See if we can do the bleed trick again. Okay, uh, I guess we'll be using the blood rush. And then we'll evaluate you. I'm fine if we take one here. How hard can we go off? We can go off pretty hard. Yeah. Let's see. We, we even want to do this. Then we discard everything. We got five. That's going to tick the cutting fan. In fact, that is just going to kill everybody. Very nice. Yeah, the fresh steel, man. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, upgrade. What now? What now? I don't mind the fresh steel plus one hidden blade, but the slick strike is so much damage. Three damage per combo. It's gonna be our hardest hitting swift attack for a while. I guess I'll go for it. Yeah, I'll go for it. Finally, we'll get our hands on this Nick. This is going to be a really big part of our game plan. Uh, this, this hand is terrible. I <laughs> have so much combo gain. One, two, three, four. I just can't find it. We'll draw a little bit, I guess. Oh, hey, there we go. We got some combo game. Uh, I kind of want to just hold it for next turn, though, now at this point, right? So we get the freebie combo from our uh, sneak artist. Which makes this hand bad. There goes our shield wall. I don't think we'll be needing that. I uh, can't salt him because he doesn't have enough bleed. But we will definitely do this, and get three here, which is not quite enough. Oh, wait, no, it is enough, yeah. We moved it to 12, not 13. This used to be 10, man. Boy, was it good. It's still really good. Well, that was one of the changes with 1.0. We bumped that guy up. Cool, this is a nice evaluate. can do, like, evade quickness, I guess. Very nice. Just a really easy Act 1 so far. And I'm sure the Nick will only help. Uh, so, uh, significant decision point here. Do I want to go Purple Stone Nick or Black Stone Nick? I think I should probably err on the side of caution, and we'll just do purple stone. The black stone will probably find something better to do later. Um, let's take out the draw blood and put it back in. Oh, okay, Nick. Redstone on quickness is a classic. Should probably just do that. 
I don't know, fresh steel instead though is, is pretty good. We are gonna get a Yellowstone next, and that's also really good on quickness. Yeah, okay, let's let's put it on fresh steel instead. There we go. Uh the planned strike is kind of funny now that Nick is gonna be giving us so much overcharge. But without an upgrade, I don't think so. And there's plenty of stuff we want to upgrade right now. Oh, it's this guy. He's so rude. So let's see about this. If we go double quickness for the throat. Plan B. That seems pretty good. I sort of want to hold the unrelenting. I probably should. I will. And then we'll see about getting a spell off on him next turn, maybe? Yeah, okay, this looks pretty good. We just go... Are we gonna slick strike him? Or are we gonna... Hmm. We're always doing this. I don't think we're ever playing this. Let's get the spell down now. I guess we're not going to slick strike. We're just gonna nick. In which case, we'll do things in this order. Get some extra damage here. Spend all our combo right before triggering the cutting fan. And then... Man, I wish I would have gotten the bleeded out. These things would have blocked for nine. It'd be perfect. As is, I think I take the small hit here. And we have pretty good odds of drawing Bide. Bide into fresh steel would be really, really, really good. Especially with the cutting fan. I'm gonna take the chance. If things don't work out, it could be a bit awkward. He's really close to dead though, man. We'll we'll just kill him, I think, if we get it right. Dang. Dang dang. At least the evaluate is still really nice. Cutting fan and sanguine stopwatch are both gonna be going off. So I think we actually want to salt him. Right. We don't have any combo, but. We can purge this and get 9 block off of this. And then it's either 4 bleed or 10 damage, right? We'd definitely rather have the damage. So we'll fresh deal, get the rage. And I th does this kill him? This might kill him. It totally did. Hell yeah. It was close because it was the stopwatch trigger that got him, and we were almost out of hidden blades to get the stopwatch. Very, very nice, though. Uh, upgrade version of the first card you purge, add it to your hand. We don't really have anything that crazy for that. Nothing rigged, no buffs or anything. Yeah, the, the redstone fresh steel. I'm glad I put the stone there and not in the quickness. This is... Uh, it's, it's good. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for in a booster pack with a rare, but more cards is never bad. I definitely don't feel the need to get extra max health. And I, I kind of want to keep hoarding up my money for next floor and try and find a disheveled salesman. Get a free rare out of him. Or extra rare, I guess, beyond what I would normally have. It's certainly not free. It's really expensive. We'll take the booster pack. See what there is to be seen in this thing. Crimson Slaughter. Another Bide. That's awesome. Uh, stuff I don't really care about. How bad do I want a Crimson Slaughter? I mean, it's it's pretty good, especially if we upgrade it. Using that in tandem with uh, the Sanguine Stopwatch could be an awful lot of bleed triggers. We should probably keep this and try to upgrade it. In which case, I'm just going to roll the zigzag. Phantom Walk. That is interesting. It is interesting. It lets us spam a lot of attacks, which we want to do. Okay, uh, what is on the map here? Hmm. Well, we got another chance at sidestep. Sanguine Shell is awesome. Juggle's pretty good. Everything else is kind of, eh. I mean, Blades is, is fine. It's not bad. Hmm. Bit awkward here. 
I think the side step is going to be where we put our Blackstone. We do have a Disheveled Salesman, so that's pretty awesome. Um, we have to go to the Soul Collector. It's non-negotiable, which means that we can do this. I mean, that seems pretty decent. It's not bad. Uh, how do we want to get here? Do we want to go to the Spell Child? I don't know. Our, our current spell has actually been quite nice for the vulnerable. We don't have any other good sources of vuln, although we are about to, so at some point, upgrade this Crimson Slaughter. Hey, you know what, actually? Maybe we should just go for upgrade points, and that's all we should really care about. You know? In which case, this is the path. We get two upgrades instead of just one. We have to step on an extra empty tile, but I would pay five health for an upgrade. That's a good deal, if you ask me. Yeah, I think this is the path. This looks good. Uh, quick deck at it now. Uh, the second bide is gonna be awesome. Let's... I don't want too much expensive block. So I'm, I'm kind of tempted to take out the shield wall, but honestly, I think I can cut one more evade. And then we'll hold off on Crimson Slaughter for the moment. Do we put the Phantom Walk in? Um, hmm. How many combo spenders do we have at this point? For the Throat, Plan B, Slick Strike, and Nick. I think it's time for Plan B to come out, actually, and Phantom Walk will go in. Now we have three combo spenders for the Throat, Nick, and Slick Strike. And in terms of combo gain, we have Bide, Bide, Quickness, Lick. That seems like a pretty good ratio. Because, like, the Phantom Walk we want to have high combo for. Fresh Deal we want to have high combo for. Even though those aren't combo spenders, stuff we need to keep in mind. I think these are, are good ratios. I think they are. We're really low on draw bloods. And yet I have not minded... Okay. Let's see what we can do here. You know, if I have to fight these guys, I'm glad it's early on. Screw these dudes. <laughs> what a bunch of jerks. Now, the real question is, what option do I go here for? Do I Nick? Do I Fresh Steel? Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go straight for the Fresh Steel. Try and kill these guys before things get too out of hand. Uh, let's put Vulnerable on you. And we're gonna get the Cutting Fan trigger. We want to leave him alive now, because if we kill him, something new spawns in. Whereas now, we'll get one respawn, and then we just have to deal two damage here on the same turn that we kill off this guy. Yeah, they're everybody's favorites, aren't they, Divine Shield? Everybody just loves these enemies. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't think we need the salt. So we'll just purge this. Throw out the evade. Slick Strike is going to kill you. You're going to die to bleed. Although it sure would be great if we could kill you by other means. Maybe we can get the stopwatch up. I don't know. I guess a draw block works. Bonk. Okay, that is the cleanest fight I've had against these guys in a hot minute. I mean, it's not over yet. We do still have to handle this jerk. But, I mean, it, it should be fine. Right? <laughs> right? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, bite, I guess. It's a four the throat. You know, we're, we're just going to be as safe as possible. I want the perfect. This guy doesn't really scale up much. It's the other ones that you need to be worried about for that. Uh, big ol' for the throat. Yeah, we'll draw blood first. Big ol' for the throat. 
get our uh, block. Get out of here. So glad to have that fight over and done with, man. It's like a shadow that looms over Act 2. Okie doke. Uh, Crimson Slaughter, it's time. You will be glorious. We might even put the Blackstone in this, honestly, if, uh, if things work together. But I, I think that's probably not going to happen. It is an option to consider, though. Uh, what now? We have not actually played the Phantom Walk so far, but... I'm sure it'll be good eventually. Kind of draw blood. Yeah, if I try to go up here, it doesn't work. So we have to step on the tile here that's empty and take some damage. Ouch. And we're not going to use the now we wait. Uh-oh, Dragon Mother. That is a bit of a problem. We have a lot of chunky block. Two of which are in our hand right now. Okay, so I think we're just gonna go for quicknesses here. And then a bunch of phantom walks. We're just one phantom walk, really. Not bad, though. Not bad, huh? Half of her health down, just like that. I knew it would be good to save that Phantom Walk. Uh, yeah. Fresh Steel, huh? Too bad we just spent all our combo. I'll do it anyway. Get her down to four. Take up the relics. Goodbye. Nice kill. That was a quick one. That fight can really go sideways if you don't uh, have the right kind of blocks, but if you just kill her that fast, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, next upgrade... Fresh Steel? Yeah, why not? Fresh Steel. Like five more damage. Ouch. What are we buying here? We saved up all our money for this. The Dashing Hat is not very useful for us. <laughs> Such a cool relic, man, but we have no buffs. And I don't think we're even going to get any buffs. Nope. So it's basically useless. Feels bad. The cheese knife. Pretty good. More hidden blade spam. We spend and regenerate our combo somewhat often. Uh, the fan of blades is quite good. I think we might get that and the cheese knife, hmm? And then there's the living blood, this is always decent. But I want this, I want this. Can't afford you anymore, so... Sorry, living blood, you're very cute, but uh, you will not be coming along with us. With these two little uh, sharp objects now, added in alongside our third sharp object. <laughs> I think we're gonna be looking pretty good. Let's roll. Uh, not a great hand here. But it's not the worst one I've ever seen. Put the bleed on you. To get the combo. Probably holding the bide. Everybody's bleeding now, so our evades are better. Yeah, we'll hold the buy. Where did I want to use the Blackstone? Uh, I'm thinking it's going to go on the sidestep that we earn from this fight. That's my current plan. Uh, I don't think there's any more random cards we're getting. Oh, no, there is a card shop. Yeah, so uh, maybe something better shows up there. Okay, so we already have all of our combos. So here we can just do... Let's, let's do it this way. Put the spell on you. For the throat. Bide. Evaluate. 
Hell yeah, that was good stuff. Now next turn, we just need to play like any attack basically and the stopwatch goes off and kills you. Not that much damage that we have to worry about. Shield wall coming up. Okay, let's snick first here and see what we get. We got the shield wall. Good. I guess we can play this for combo. We're definitely not playing this or this. And then we can go evade, purge, shield wall. These are only dealing six right now, so don't really need to use the fresh steel. Okay, uh, if we perfect this fight, I'll be pretty happy. And it's looking good here, because we can unrelenting... And then get the Slick Strike. Don't really need you, or you, or you. I guess you either. Uh, we could trigger this, but we don't have any combo, so it's kind of useless to do so. I guess I'll just wait and hope we draw some combo. Three by one. How sad, little Pyramite. How sad you must be. Ticked it back up pretty high. Okay, card trap time. Ooh, there's some really good stuff here that I would have liked to buy, but I don't regret purchasing those relics. Uh, I mean, a, a regular ass sanguine shell is still pretty good, though. Might just buy that. We are getting one somewhere around here, right? Yeah, there. Don't mind buying it. It is really good. It would probably replace, uh... Hmm. What would it replace? Maybe the Evaluate? I don't know. I should probably just save my money, though, honestly. It's a somewhat marginal upgrade. I can't afford Congeal. Eternal Sadness. Uh, so we're only getting one more upgrade for the rest of the floor here. I'm pretty sure that is just going to be on the sidestep, and then we'll Blackstone it. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. So, I will leave it out for the time being, though. Until it's upgraded, it's, it's a lot worse. Is this our last Elite? Yeah. No, we got one more after this. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, the, the Amulet of Speed is actually pretty good, I think. I think this one's going to be nice. Membrane's always cool, though, but let's take the Amulet of Speed. Just immediately up to three combo, man. Feels pretty good. What doesn't feel good is his hand. This hand sucks. I want to weaken her, but... I don't want to, uh... I don't want to waste a turn of Vulnerable. That being said, it's probably the smart thing to do. And then we'll purge down... And then play a card to get rid of some of the poison. There, okay. I think that was about right. About the right way to handle it. 25. Okay. So at least the evaluate's pretty good here. But what are the hidden blades gonna come in at? Three and one. Lovely. I mean, I guess we can kind of re-roll the hand with fresh steel. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna be taking some damage here, though. No way around that. All right, fresh steel, what do you got for us? It's not very good. It wasn't particularly useful. Ah, oh, Dolus is so rough for hidden blade decks, dude. Truly. Do we have a shrine? We don't. 
we could skip Sanguine Shell for it. That'd be sad. Hope she doesn't beat us up too bad. Okay, at least the Nick is cheap. The Shield Wall's free. Yeah, okay, let's get the Nick. Ooh, okay, okay, yeah. Getting some good RNG now. I'm not even going to bother with Salt in the Wound. I already know the RNG is not going to be in my favor. Uh, Phantom Walk is at least nice in that we can discard the expensive blades that we get, yeah. Let's, uh, let's do some of that, huh? Discard the expensive one. It came back at two again somehow. Great. Discard the expensive one. Okay, I guess we'll just go ahead and shield wall now. Try one more Phantom Walk. Let's try one more Phantom Walk. We got four free Hidden Blades. That's something, I guess, right? That's not bad. We can keep rolling the dice, or we could just spend the on the four of the throat. That's probably smarter, huh? Yeah, that's probably smarter. So we'll play the free ones. And I guess we'll play one that costs one to trigger this. Oh, we still have combo. They're all unplayable. <laughs> Never mind for the throat. I'm sorry. Really didn't end up being all that much damage, man. I'm, I gotta say. Okay, though. Uh, how do we want to do this? I guess we bide. Try to Phantom Walk. Oh, wait, yeah, we're confused. We're confused on this turn. Phantom Walk is never going to work. We can't possibly play them at this price. That's so, so, <laughs> that was a little bit silly. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Okay, Crimson Slaughter is actually not really doing very much for us. Let's Nick. We can trigger her bleed a lot on this turn, though. Like, if we trigger the stopwatch, and then we also have slaughter plus bleed it out. There's a lot of bleed triggers. This is probably going to be a lot of our block. This is, like, way too expensive. This card just isn't good. Okay, let's gain our full combo. And yeah, I think we will just Slick Strike her. This is a useless card. This is not a very useful card. This is not a very useful card. Fresh Steel came in at zero again. Whew. Oh boy. Okay, so I mean, I definitely want her to be vulnerable again, right? Like, definitely. We have no combo. I think I should do it this way. And then we'll try to gain some combo and put this on her next turn. I guess, or should I just purge this? We're drawing from our whole deck. There's some pretty bad draws we can get. I think I should purge it. The spell is coming off cooldown, so we can extend the vulnerable apply the weak again. Okay. okay, we got Slick Strike. That's a pretty good one. Gain some combo. I guess we'll play this out as well. Hey, it actually costs zero. Not bad. We definitely want to do this. And I guess let's see what we draw. Could have been better. Definitely could have been better. Actually, wait a minute. Look at that. Exact lethal. Nice. We're always going to win that fight, but I thought we might take a bit of chip damage on the way out there. 
just barely eat that one out. Very nice, very nice. Uh, the Blades Upon Blades, we may or may not end up playing at this rate. I'm not sure. One more fight before we can upgrade our wonderful sidestep. I sure am glad I didn't put that sidestep in, man. That would not have helped against the Dolus. Not one bit. Uh, we'll take the bleed off you because you're probably going to stick around for a while. Full combo now. Uh, I think it's a good time to salt. Yeah, that seemed good. You know what, actually? Uh, we're going to do this, too. Big damage on the champ. He's dead next time we trigger the stopwatch, if we can do that on this turn, and we're about to get three blades. Ooh, Crimson Slaughter, too. Okay, I don't think we want the Fresh Steel, then. Let's nick you. Uh, well, we might as well main gouge first. Get the combo in there. Sucks that we're gonna miss out on the combo for all these cutting fan blades, but what can you do? Okay, we've already used Amulet Speed. Still, I don't mind getting some combo back here. Right? Or no, we haven't. We didn't use the Amulet of Speed. It's ready to go now, but we don't have more combo gain, so it doesn't matter in the end. <laughs> We'll Crimson Slaughter now to make you vulnerable. And I think we'll just sit on this to hit you with next turn. Because it deals a lot of damage. You'll be vulnerable. It'll give us some amount of block. Yeah, why not max the combo out? Evaluate you. Excellent fight. Real quick and easy. Big fan. Last chance at a random card here. Uh, eh, I mean, I don't think we're going to use any of these. I'll take the backpack, I guess. But yeah, probably not going to use it. We have a lot of draw. There's our sidestep. We'll upgrade that. This will generate some energy for us. Very handy. Minus one more evade. Uh, Yellowstone, let's put on the Quickness. That's always a good one. And it's time for the Soul Collector. Ooh, the Spice, huh? Start each turn at max combo. Well, that could be pretty good. <laughs> that could be pretty good. That lets me run uh, the Blades Upon Blades for sure. And... That's, that's just really good. It makes me probably even take out the Lick the Knife. I think we just take it. And then, as for the rest of our souls, we don't really want anything to Greenstone. Week 2 and Delay Block 10 to all enemies. Eh, probably not necessary. Just take the random comment. It's on sale. The Orb of Aneurysm. Put in some bleed. Uh, we don't have very much rage gain, actually, like at all. Is this our only rage? That's the only rage gain we have. Wild. There's not even any in the backpack, is there? No. That, that's that got to be an uncommon occurrence, but... Uh, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's one bleed to all enemies sometimes. I mean, I guess it's good if we brew a rage potion that we don't have. <laughs> okay, well, the common was kind of a miss, but the spice... The spice is what we needed to spice this run-up. So let's go ahead and just take out Lick and put in Blades. I think this is going to be the way to go. Just go Nick immediately. Unrelenting. I wish there was a way to get the combo here that didn't involve playing Abide. But sadly, this is what we have to do. 
if we want a full combo. I guess it's fine to just not have full combo here. We'll salt. And we'll keep abide for later. Might as well use the spell, honestly. Uh, hello? What? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I can't... Hmm. That's interesting. I guess that's a bug of some sort. <laughs> that's fine. It's fine. See, we don't need the vulnerable to kill her. I've never seen that happen before. Interesting. Oh, wait, I said I was going to hold a bide, didn't I? What did I do? Did I purge it? I got so distracted. I still can't select the one on the right. Very weird. At least I can still target it with attacks. That'd be horrifying. Okay, so we just want to go with the double sidestep here to start. That's all our block. We have no combo gain at all. Which is sad, because we drew both of our bides. So the Blades Upon Blades is not actually super amazing here. I think we're going to do it anyway, though. And then we'll put some bleed on you before the stopwatch triggers. Likely we draw the quickness coming up. Yeah, okay, we got it. Uh, so we can spend our combo and then gain it back. Uh, let's start with main gosh then. And I think we'll spell you. Hit you first so that when the stopwatch inevitably triggers, you will die. Spend the combo. Gives us all the block we need as well, so we can dump all these block cards we're drawing. Then this gets us back to full combo. And then we can just do a bunch of uh, phantom walk stuff. Alright. Not bad. She'll waste her turn here trying to gain Frenzy. Little does she know, it is a fruitless endeavor. Nice and easy fight, as it usually is. Those people aren't particularly scary. Final elite fight of the run here. Uh, the Garnet Band, huh? Bleed triggers before enemy actions. Honestly, it's not the most amazing thing here, but uh, it's better than the alternatives, I think, right? Boots of Quickness would be decent if we had drawn discard, but we passed up on the Thief's Code in the store. And the only other drawn discard we have is the Bluestone Slick Strike. I guess we also have the discard from Phantom Walk, but I don't think that's enough. Dead Man's Drop is okay. We're not really struggling to block right now, though. And this is kind of going to block more if it's killing stuff before they attack and put it right on the stack, right? So so we'll do it that way. How hard are we going in on him this turn? I think we're going in very hard. We'll go with the blades. And then we can... Unrelenting. Pretty good damage. Very nice lineup of relics we have here. These all working together. Quite handy. Okay, uh, we didn't draw any combo gain. Am I going to have to put that Lick the Knife back in, man? I did not want to. In fact, it looks like we're taking a little bit of damage here. That's just going to have to be okay. Okay. 
probably purge one of these before I play the fresh steel. Anyway, should be easy enough to kill him now. Plenty of block there. Go ahead and nick. This gets us all the combo we need. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll plan a walk. Cool. That guy can be tough, but handled him easily. And this is hilariously 100% useless with Spice. But I, I do kind of feel compelled to put back one of these Lick the Knives. We are not getting the combo gain we want every time, so let's drop the last draw blood here. Just need more consistency in our combo gain. Just use this for energy. with a two combo now. So the next time we gain combo, we're going to gain an additional combo. So if we play one of these bides, we'll go to three after we've spent combo. So we can blades upon blades. And now, bide puts us all the way up to three. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, in terms of block here, the evade gets us there, but so does the slick strike, and we don't have anything else to spend the combo on. Making everybody vulnerable sounds pretty good. So I guess we'll do that. And then we can phantom walk once. Yeah. Now, when we slick strike, we can ditch the phantom walk. Oh, quickness! So we can gain back combo if we want. We don't want to hold cards against these guys, so... Let's gain some combo. Gain some more combo. We're back to full combo. Now we can just fresh steal. The cutting fan is about to go off again. And the stopwatch will not trigger. So I think we're just going to start stacking some damage on these guys. He's barely going to survive, which is... Oh, he's not going to survive now, the fan of blades. That actually works just fine, yeah. Uh, be weakened. Because these guys die before they do stuff because of the garnet band. And you die because I've killed you. It is satisfying. Feels pretty good, man. I'm feeling confident. I think we're ready to take on this fight. Uh, just in case, I'll throw the health potion in here. Black Coach, we should be able to handle this no problem. Uh, not the best opening hand I've ever seen, though. In fact, this opening hand blows. This is terrible. <laughs> There's nothing to do. Nothing to do at all. This this is the most proactive thing I can do, is one point of damage to this guy. Simply incredible. You gotta purge everything down. I could have held one bide there, that wouldn't have been bad. But we still have two more combo gain cards, right? This and this coming up, and the spice, of course. Okay, we got the neck. So we're probably not doing blades. Well, we at the very least, we definitely don't need to evaluate, right? We can nick first. We have an enormous overcharge now. Sidestep for energy. This gives us all of our combo back. It's a good time for salt. Uh, 
I think we'll leave the bleed on you, and I'm gonna start putting damage on Lefty over here. Now the question is, what do I do here? Do I bleed on you? I think I'm gonna slick strike you. Okay. okay. It was all right. All right, turn two. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna be doing something with these cards here. I wish I had some sort of passive block so I didn't have to actually spend an energy to block this two damage. That's so annoying. But I'll do it. Fine. And every time we play this, we're netting two hidden blades. gain the rage and turn this into a hidden blade plus the two bonus ones. So we have 11 in the hand now. Wish I didn't have to waste all of these on him, but oh well, we still get three on this guy. And he only got up to a measly 25 AP. Not bad at all should be quite simple to handle. So here I think we want to just get the vulnerable on him first. Eh? This is so awkward. We don't need the bide, like at all. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and vulnerable him, get our block. The quickness will get us back all of our combo. Salt is useless, season of bleed. That's a good one. Drop that. Gain the energy. And what are we drawing next turn? Nick and for the throat. Yeah, we'll just hold this. We will just hold it. Because now we can Nick. Then we can bide, then we can quickness to go back up to four. we can... let's see... where's the rest of our block gonna come from? I guess an evaluate. Sure, we'll just toss that out. And this is a good salt in the wound turn. Stack all the bleed on him. And that's it, GG, he's dead. Great boss fight. Back up to 63. Another booster pack with a rare. Have we gotten three booster packs with rares this round, or was it just the one? Or as in, would, would this be our third? Uh, upgrade points could be good. I don't know where we would put them, though, honestly. The Phantom Walk just stops being inert. It's not particularly useful. Uh, Blades Upon Blades deals more damage for what that's worth. This is more bleed. Eh, I don't know. What are we even hoping to find in the booster pack? We could swap out these evades, I guess, for something. I really don't know. Void stones would be okay. Do we have any swift cards with no stone in them? Main gauche. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This this, this deck is a uh, is in pretty good shape. I guess trying to find like a uh, enough suffering could be good. So sure, we'll take it. Besides, booster packs are fun. I don't think I need any of these potions, but I guess I'll take this one. Get two potions instead of one? That's value. In Cold Blood. Well, that is actually a pretty good rare. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that one. Uh, ambush is something, I guess, as well. It's not bad. It's a combo game. Uh, let's roll the do-over. We're not going to need this. One hit wonder. We're not going to need that either. All right, before we take on the Vault Guardians, I'm going to take a real quick break and refill my water. I'll be back in like two minutes. One second, y'all.
Okay. We are back, and it is time to decide which guardians we are going to take on. First off, take 276 damage, sir. We have one Praetorian Guard on, so we have to kill three of these guys, but we only get two Blessings. Which Blessings do we want most? Try to discard turn six. I think we're faster than that, so not too big of a deal. 75% rage each turn is pretty good. I mean, yo, Orb of Aneurysm, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good one, and we do have an Exploding Bottle to explode them with. Uh, we also have Bacon Bomb, right? No, we don't. We have uh, Let's Pray and Nightmare Steed. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I feel like we could handle these guys, though. What else? Uh, this could be good. We don't have any means of dealing with afflictions, really. As we mentioned previously, just the Slick Strike is our only real drawn discard. And I guess the Phantom Walk, too. So this could be a nice one. This could be a nice one. Purge 2. Yeah, okay. I think we want these two. And then we'll fight... Uh, I don't know. This is a tough fight. We have a lot of random, like, bleed AoE, and that means that her minions would put a crap ton of poison on us. But we also might struggle with Banes against this guy, so... Hmm. Not sure. I think we'll get started here. Brew up our exploding bottle. Uh, another one in the belt. Why not? And let's take him on. Hey, just starting out with a simple nick seems pretty good. Let's uh, put the guy who has more frenzy. Let's give him some vulnerable. Uh, but we'll, we'll put the bleed on a different one. Get our energy going. Combo up. Let's see, this will get us the rest of the combo we need. I will take the rebound on it. And then I think we're just going to Phantom Walk a bunch here. And by a bunch, I mean, like, twice. Okay, so seven of them. Not bad. We'll spread the damage out a bit here. So as to play around respawns. And their Frenzy goes down every time you attack them anyway, right? So they're actually not attacking for all that much at this point. And it looks like they're actually just dead. Nice. Exploding bottle for the win. So good against those spiders. All right. That was a pretty good fight. Let's hope that the obsidian golem fight goes as well. Uh, so for the void, yeah, actually, let's, let's think about this real quick. For the void, we're going to brew up, I don't know, stealth is an option. Extra combo from Sneak Artist is irrelevant because of the spice. Yeah, I think we're just going to brew up stealth, and then the other potion will be either crippling or exploding, just as vulnerable on demand. Probably crippling. So that means that for the other fights... I guess we'll brew up one crippling versus this guy, since he starts with times two. And we will have the health potion in reserve, just in case. That sounds about right. Okay, happy to start out with Nick again. Uh, we don't really need to use the spell, because everybody's already been affected by the crippling potion. Okay, this is really good. So we can... Quickness, quickness, and we're back to full combo. We don't need the Crimson Slaughter. I think this is just going to be another f big Phantom Walk situation. And then we'll end it by spending combo on For the Throat. Oh, wait. Wait, what happened to my energy? I don't know. Did I miscount something? Doesn't matter. We're fine. <laughs> we don't actually need to spend the Fort of Throat. He's already halfway dead, and we've hardly done anything.
Okay, uh, salt in the wound, fresh steel. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna salt you for sure here. We'll go ahead and get our block down. Now, do we want to fresh steel or do we want to play? I think we want to play the silent shivs. We've got our sanguine stopwatch coming up. This time we actually will do this because he's about to get his bleed triggered. Nice. Okay, now we just have to either trigger his bleed or put up enough block. Or just deal damage regularly. We have so many ways to kill him here. So uh, that's pretty nice. Take six damage. Okay, another nice easy Vault Guardian, but I am actually concerned about the next two. I'm a little bit worried. I think the answer is going to be to fight the Puppet Master and just try to be so fast that we kill him before we ever reshuffle our deck. The amount of poison that we would get from the Queen of Ages, I think, is just going to be, like, way too much. So, in that case... We said we want these two potions for the void. I, I mean, I, I guess we'll put the exploding bottle, right? Blew it, brewing the uh, elixir of execution doesn't do anything. I suppose the other option is we just brew the health potion. Put the uh, trigger bleed here. Yeah, this, this is probably a better setup. This is all very marginal. I don't think it really matters. But it's what we're doing. So let's see here. Can get some bleed on him. Salt's not going anywhere. Vulnerable off the Crimson Slaughter is cool, but we don't really need it. We can just do this instead. Get a decent amount of damage here. Eh, that's not bad. Okay, uh, this time we have the quickness, so let's just go ahead and start with a Nick. And then go quickness, quickness. This is ridiculous. We can even spend our combo and get it back again. Which is probably pretty good. Let's do blades upon blades. Then we get combo with unrelenting. Then we'll just slick strike him. Okay, so he doesn't have that much bleed, but he is dying very quickly. But here comes the reshuffle. So, a bit of a concern. Uh, for the throat here into bide. I'm thinking I'm, I might want to save this to actually, like, trigger his bleed. This is going to trigger bleed. Yeah, let's just do this right now. Trigger his bleed again. And then actually, yeah, we can do this. Trigger his bleed again. And now he dies. Cool. So we managed to beat him without drawing any banes, even though we did have to reshuffle once. Uh, I guess our plan worked out very good. In that case, it is finally time to take on the Void. Brew up our stealth potion. Slot this crippling pot into the belt. Make any last minute decisions we want. We did get this goofy ass green stone. I have no idea what we could possibly use it for. Yeah, like what is what is this thing for? There's there's no particular reason that I would want any of these cards sooner rather than later. There are some cards that I don't want to draw quickly, so if you the argument, I guess, is that you should put the green stone in something just so that the ones that you don't want are less likely to show up, like the bides and stuff. Uh... <laughs> like, maybe we just put it on Bleed It Out? Sure. It's purely so that we're less likely to draw other cards. Put the green stone on Bleed It Out. 
Oh, and then the In Cold Blood. Yeah, we're actually supposed to be playing this, aren't we? I probably don't need this evade. I Honestly, I don't need this either, but, you know. It's gonna be good. Okay. So we get our one free turn. Not that we have much to set up, but it's still very handy if we can prevent some of the garbage. So focusing down the uh, Evil Enlightened is going to be the name of the game here. And I see no reason not to start with a good old Nick. Double dip on the energy gain, quickness to get back to full. We're always going to be purging this. Not enough bleed yet for the In Cold Blood to be doing like a ton of crazy stuff. So we'll just go for the blades. We're, are we going to fresh steal? I don't know. We're always doing unrelenting. In which case, I guess we might as well fresh steal. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna dump the in cold blood even. We're going to save this to be putting vulnerable on the void rather than using it now. I think that's going to be the right choice in the long term. Although, in hindsight, I probably should have used my spell on this guy. But that's fine. He's getting pretty close to dead. We can use the spell on the, uh, the evil Tempest. And we got the Crimson Slaughter, which will hit everybody. Salt as well. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's salt you. We don't need these. Start putting bleed on you. And I think that's enough now that the Crimson Slaughter kills you. Okay, pretty close, but that's fine because you're just going to die before you take your action. Now we can start stacking damage on you. Garnet Band coming in handy here. I knew it was the right choice. Okay, uh, we can get combo back with Lick, so why not open up with a Slick Strike here? Uh, we don't really need Evaluate. I don't think we need Shield Wall. Bide? No, we don't need the Bide. We don't need the Quickness either, honestly. Next, we don't need the Main Gauche while we're at it. These things are ba this is basically the same as Quickness right now, so... So it doesn't look like we're quite going to avoid all of the garbage. We'll get one Penitence. That should be alright, though. That should be okay. We can handle one garbage card. What is annoying, though, is that we can't start hitting the Void until she dies, so we do need to waste more damage on her now, but... Yeah, what can you do? Okay, so I think we want to put this on the Void and then evaluate him to get the shivs here. I really wish I could, like, salt you and then put that bleed onto him, but I don't know if that's going to work. Because is it 8? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to. It's not going to work. In which case, I think we're just fresh steel. Just to play. Okay. Four hidden blades left over. It's not too bad. And there's not too much to worry about at this point. Our deck is very straightforward in how it operates now. Uh, let's get that overcharge. And we can discard the Penitence. Awesome. Okay, the In Cold Blood could definitely be doing stuff here. Uh, we need to get combo back. This is really our only combo game, huh? Well, how about that? A little bit unfortunate. So I guess we're probably not going to pop off too hard with any of these things here, so we'll just... We should probably get rid of this Bleed It Out, honestly. We don't really want to be continuing to draw this. So... Yeah, let's go Crimson Slaughter for the Vuln, Bleed It Out, and then just a nice, simple... In cold blood. That's a lot of damage. Next turn we have the potion to guarantee he's still vulm. OK. 
Okay. Less than optimal hand, I will admit. No real point in making him vulnerable because we are not doing much of anything. We can at least get the, uh, yeah, no, okay, you know what? I guess it's worth it, right? I guess it's worth it. It'll make the blue trigger happen too uh, with vulnerable, so. We'll get our, uh, our hidden blades here. And we're probably just gonna take almost all of this damage here, really. I'll block some of it. This would have been the first time our living blood triggered versus the void, so I guess I'm glad I skipped on that. Okay, good time for the salt here. Uh, I should probably get some amount of block. And we'll fresh steal. Trigger our stopwatch again. This is actually getting to be a little bit closer than I would have hoped. But I'm pretty sure we'll win. We just need to redraw the... Ah, there it is. In cold blood. Yeah. GG. Took a few hits there towards the end, but... Uh, yeah, as soon as we saw that cold blood, the fight was over. And we ripped it right off the top. Not bad at all. Yeah, a real good uh, showcase of... All of the counting relics coming together into a very nice, nice run. This guy giving you blades to count up this, counting up this. These guys all play together very nicely. Even the, the cheese knife came in clutch there too. Lots of extra hidden blades over the course of the whole run with this thing. The spice was crazy, of course. Uh, the amulet of speed was a little bit awkward at times, but very good. I uh, did not really get to do much with the Orb of Aneurysm, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah, Nick is a superstar of a card. The Overcharge was great on this thing, and just cycling through the deck quickly. Phantom Walk did pretty reasonably well. This is a card that can be a little tricky to use, but with, uh, with all these relics, it was pretty good. Several fights that this almost single-handedly ended. Good stuff, man. Good stuff all around. Nice run.